the unit that I'm rocking today, which is a kinky straight unit from the company Wig Encounters. And you guys know that I have worked with Wig Encounters. I think this is my third time working with them, my third or fourth time. And so far I have had a really good experience working with them and their hair is very, very nice. So this time around, I want to pick up the Kinky Straight unit. And I have had this unit for about close to two months now. And I have really tried and tested and wore this unit. This is the Indian Remy Kinky Straight unit. Hair color is number two. And it is 18 inches. The hair density is 150% density all the way around. Baby hair around the perimeter, a natural hairline, Swiss lace material, and this is a capsized petite. With this unit, you get two combs on the side, a comb at the top, and a comb in the back. I did go ahead and remove the comb at the top just because it was not needed. And when I was bleaching the unit, I didn't want it to get in the way. As far as the cap size goes, it did fit with me adjusting the straps, but it was not snug like I liked it. You guys know I have a small head. So I did go in and add an elastic band in, and now it's like fitting. It's not going anywhere on my head. You get a very good amount of hair with this unit. Now on their other units, it'll state that it's 130% density in the front and then 150% density in the back. And the 130% density kind of makes their hairlines look really good. This one is 150 all the way around. And the hairline is okay on this unit, it's good. But it's not as good as the hairlines um, on their other units just because this hair is thicker. If you want it as natural as the other units that I've reviewed from them, you may want to go in and pluck a little bit. Now I did go in and bleach the knots on this unit and I wanted to film me bleaching the knots but I was having difficulty with this unit as far as bleaching the knots. I had to go and do it twice. Some of the knots still didn't bleach. It was just like the middle perimeter. Those knots were very, very dark, so they were being very stubborn. And I didn't wanna leave my bleach on too long and risk me bleaching the hair or over bleaching the lace. But so far, it came out really good, and I did get the perimeter around the hairline, which is what you guys know I really like to focus on because I want my lace to blend in with my skin. But that is the parting space on this unit. And this is a full lace unit, so of course you can do a lot of different styles and you can part it all over the unit. That is the hairline on this unit. So it doesn't look too bad at all. And these are some long baby hairs that I have not cut down. When this wig dried, it was very dry and very brittle. In fact, I was kind of side eyeing it like, oh my gosh, because it just dried up a lot. This unit is definitely going to need some oil or some serum. Once I flat iron the unit, it is so soft. I'm not getting any tangling. I got slight shedding when the unit was dry when I was running my fingers through it. But when it is flat ironed, this hair does not shed and it does not tangle. And I have wore it for long periods of time and it's just easy for me just to run my fingers through this unit. Like I really do love the way this feels when it is flat ironed. This unit does hold a curl also and I'll curl like a little piece and put a video on the side for you guys to see but it does hold a curl. What I really love on this unit is that the color number two is so nice. It is a true number two. It comes off a nice dark brown. And I'm gonna insert also a clip of me in the sunlight because I was supposed to film this the other day and my sun started to go down, but I did catch some footage of me in the sunlight in this unit and it is really nice. The color comes off very, very nice. And it does have a couple of short hairs at the top. Now this one does not drive me crazy just because I have reviewed other units that the short hairs, no matter what you do, they just will not lay down. And on this one, I would just take a little bit of holding spray and run my comb over it and it lays down the whole day. This unit is 18 inches and it is a very good amount of hair. It comes under my boob area, like if I pull it all the way. When it comes to this unit, I definitely give it two thumbs up. This is definitely the best feeling kinky straight hair that I have tried so far. I really do love the way it feels, especially once it's flat ironed. Like I said, my only really con was that it took a long time 
for the knots to start turning. If you guys have any comments or questions when it comes to this unit, let me know. I will also leave a direct link below to this particular unit and I'll have a coupon code down below in case you guys want to check out their website. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.